Welcome to Bay Sunday. High performance, all electric zero motorcycles are the Teslas of the motorcycle world. And here to tell us more about them is Todd Anderson, the company's vice president of marketing and sales and a lifelong motorcyclist. Welcome to Bay Sunday. Hey, thanks, Ken. It's great to be here. I'm excited to, to hear about these motorcycles. I used to ride one in college for about a year. My parents never knew. Uh, a lot of these, us have been there. <laughs> these are really not your grandfather's motorcycles. No, I mean, you know, everyone's familiar with electric cars, right? I mean, clearly you can't pick up a newspaper or turn on the TV and not hear a story about electric cars these days. Electric motorcycles are still a little bit under the radar, but mm. all the advantages that you get on an electric car, you also get on an electric motorcycle plus more. There's, right. there's just advantages compared to gas bikes that, that, are, that are really, really uh, uh, interesting. Including the acceleration. Yeah, I mean, t today, most people, when, when most people think about a really powerful motorcycle, they envision some big sport bike or a big, huge Harley, right? Ducati's biggest, most expensive sport bike puts out significantly less torque than, than our electric motorcycles. Um, in fact, Harley came out with a new motor last year. They have 114 foot-pounds of torque, which sounds huge. We have 116. Tell us what we're looking at right here. Oh, this is the Zero SR. This is our sort of sports naked motorcycle. This is actually our number one selling model. Yeah, it looks very cool. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's a nice sporty street bike. Um, they, um, they um, like I said, they have tons of torque. Um, there's, they, they, we like to describe it as arm stretching torque. Hmm. Um, they're um, really interesting to ride because you know, most motorcyclists and consumers think about motorcycles, they think about noise. Yeah. They think about the sound of the engine. Well, as you can uh, probably hear here on the, on the tape, our bikes make very little noise. Right. They have very little vibration. So the rider's connection to the road and the environment around them is just completely different than what you're used to on a wow. gas-powered motorcycle. And how fast do these motorcycles go? Um, well, uh, I wouldn't want to tell the CHP how fast I go, <laughs> but no. The top speed on the SR is 102 miles an hour. 102. Um, but the real thing is how quickly it gets there, because this bike out accelerates a Porsche 911 to 60, from 0 to 60. Wow. And a Porsche 911 is, is pretty, one of the fastest cars out there, too, or one of, the, one, the, of, one, fastest, of the, one of the fastest cars. Yeah, within the realm of that any of us could actually possibly have before. Sure, yeah, yeah, unless you're on the Audubon in Germany. Exactly. Um, tell us a little bit about the, the gas if, or the, the efficiency of these motorcycles. How many miles can it get per charge? How often do you have to charge these things? Sure. Um, now, it, the interesting thing about electric bikes, just like cars, is range all depends on how fast you ride them. Um, this bike in city, tra in city speeds with our sort of full complement of batteries will do, uh, we'll do 202 miles. Mm -hmm. um, out on the highway, it's, it's it, at 70 miles an hour, it's about half that. It's, it's about 100 miles. Right. Um, but, but, you know, the average motorcyclist in America drives, rides 2,500 miles a year. Mm -hmm. So if, even if you're getting 100 miles of charge, that means you charge 25 times a year. Wow. What about the, the, in terms of the maintenance of, of these things? Well, that's the real advantage for, for electric vehicles in general, motorcycles in particular. Sure, you can still wear out tires and brake pads and things, but the drivetrain itself needs no maintenance, no oil, no oil filters, no valves, all the stuff that makes owning a motorcycle, a conventional motorcycle kind of a pain in the neck. So it seems a lot simpler. What about those who, those street bikes are, are pretty cool, but there are some people who want to do off-road motorcycling. Sure, we make two dual sport models. We make a, a full-size dual sport adventure style bike called the DSR, which is, uh, we've got on the screen mm -hmm. now. And then we make a, uh, what I refer to as a skinny bike. We make a smaller um, dual sport bike that's, that's, that's more of a traditional dirt bike. Um, so we, we, we give people a range of options. Now, when you, when you, ha you, you said you have one of these uh, yourself, when you bring it out there, do people notice immediately that it is an electric motorcycle? Because it, it, from far away, it, it looks like a normal yeah, motorcycle. When you're, when you're out, you pull into a parking lot or, or whatever, people immediately know it, notice because they don't hear anything. They mm -hmm. see you moving and they don't hear anything. Mm -hmm. and, and, and the thing is a magnet. Everybody wants to come over and talk about it and try to understand it. I mean, it's, electric bikes are still quite a bit under the radar, and so most people haven't had a, an experience with one yet. Wow. Um, anything else you want to tell us about these uh, motorcycles? It seems. No, I would just, you know, we just encourage everybody. There's always skeptics about new technology, right? And we just encourage everyone, go try it. You might like it. I mean, it really is. It's, it's not, it, it, it's not, you're not giving anything up when you give up the gas motor. You get so much more. And the ride experience is just, just ridiculous. That kind of torque is, 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 makes the ride really thrilling. And I'm sure a lot of people will also wonder very quickly the price point in the, in, for these motorcycles. Yeah, there's some motor convention. Bikes. We have models that start at $84.99 and run all the way up to just shy of $19,000, depending on equipment and, and, and you know, what style of bike you choose. Thank you so much for joining us here this morning, Todd. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate stuff. it. For more information, go to ZeroMotorcycles.com. And when we come back, we'll get some tips on how you can sleep better 
plus Cuban dance comes to San Francisco when Bay Sunday returns.